What's going on YouTube? This is 3 Z Inferno. So, um, big shout out because this is actually my 200th video. I know a few of you guys pointed it out, and thanks for that. Um, it's because when I on my uploads it says 200 uploads, but I found one that is just a um, one that failed to upload. So I guess it's my 200th one upload, but it's my 200th video. So thanks guys for watching. Um, another quick thing. Um, back on eBay right now, my eBay account is still 3 Z Inferno. Um, so check that out. I've put a few things up, and I'll put a few more up um, when I have the time. Now on to the content. Um, today's content is definitely about trading and trade etiquette. Um, this was an article that I was going to write for TCG Player, but I don't know what happened, and um, I don't even write for them anymore. But um, I still liked my content that I was going to write for them, and so I'm going to talk about this. Um, there's a lot of things that people, you know, this is a trading card game, and a lot of people you know they they don't really have the proper trade etiquette so I really feel like I should talk about these things and um, let's start so always the first thing that I always do I'm really friendly to people um, this goes a long way I mean respect respecting another person and um, since it's a trading card game there's a social aspect to this game um, you can't just you know I mean you can really bury yourself and just play with your deck but you still have to play against another person you still have to treat them with respect and you know it, you, you're really there to have fun you know not just win but to have fun so you, if you talk to the other person in a respectful manner um, regardless if you're able to work out a trade or not that really goes a long way how do you think you know I get so much help when I need a certain card or you know if like that incident at in LA when someone tried to steal from me how did I get so much backup um, so that they couldn't get away until I let them because I talk to people with, with respect even people who barely know me they tr they help me you know so um, this goes a really long way not just in the game but in life and in general now how do you work out a trade with someone who you know has a pricing difference between you um, I mean, in this in this sense, um, different people value cards differently. Um, they might value this really expensive card at, you know, five dollars, but they might value this Karibo at twenty dollars. Every person has different reasons for pricing differently, and so I never do this. I see people do this a lot. Um, this is part of trade etiquette. When someone, you know, says something like, "Oh, I value this card at twenty-five dollars," when it's worth fifteen, maybe ten. And the other person goes, <coughs> or scoffs, or does some obvious thing that, or even says it straight out, like, wow, that's, like, it's it's okay if sometimes you say, like, oh, then, you know, that's, that's a little too high for me. But you shouldn't be going around saying things like, like, wow, really? Or, like, making them seem dumb. You know, some people have different prices. Some people have been out of the game um, for a while and that was the price back then or just have their own reasons for pricing that card maybe at their locals that card really does go for that much because um, their store doesn't have it or etc there are a lot of reasons to value cards at a different price so you should never scoff or make some obvious comment directed at the person saying that you don't you disagree I mean you can say that you disagree or say oh that's a little too high that's what I like to use I always say oh that's a little too high for me um, or I just let it go and just keep going because they might have another card that I agree with the price, you know, or maybe this was just that one card. So I never like to, you know, scoff at someone because you don't know where they're coming from and, um, why make enemies for no reason, you know? So that's one of the first things. Never make the other person feel stupid or try to make, the, talk dumb to them so that they lower the price because 99% of the time that's not going to happen. They're not going to be like, oh, that's a high price. I'm so sorry when you basically called them an idiot for the price. All right? I've seen that a lot, and I don't agree with that, and I don't think it works, period. That's not a tactic that works. Um, another thing for trade etiquette, I like to do one person at a time. That helps you protect your belongings as well as um, trade with people um, and not get into arguments. Because I, the people that I hate is when I do this, when I go trade with another person, I'm like, hey, you want to trade? They're like, okay. And we start trading. And then another guy comes over, peeks over one of the one of our shoulders, and be like, oh, how much is that card? And um, because, first of all, you're interfering in someone else's trade. It's They're, they're trading, okay? 
um, you shouldn't be interfering on their trade. Secondly, um, if I wanted that card, and then let's say I was trying to trade for whatever card, like a tour guide, okay? And the other person's like, yeah, I value it at $7. And I'm like, oh, that's a fair deal. Um, I'll try to trade you for it. And all of a sudden, this guy comes from behind me, and then he's just like, hey, I need that tour guide. How much? And the guy's like, 7 And he's like, I'll take it. And then they either, whatever, buy it or tr trade him, try to trade him for it at the same time. I'm like, hey, bud, like, can you respect that we're trading and that can you wait till we finish? And, I mean, when I if I say that, I actually mean it. And about... 75% of the time, people are like, oh, I'm sorry, dude, um, I'll come back, or something. But those people that still are, like, oblivious, I sort of get upset because, look, I'm trying to work out a deal with the guy that I'm trading with, and all of a sudden you just pop in and um, try to tr trade jack me or whatever, you know, steal whatever. Like, not literally steal, but, like, I'm trying to do work, trying to trade, trying to get this card for my deck or whatever I need it for, and you just come in and um, swoop in and take, try to take it. You know, that that's not really a f nice or fair thing to do. Um, there's really supposed to be, you know, th again, this is a very social game. And you, if you get someone mad at you for any reason, it's not a good, it's not good. Um, so I really think that you should always trade one person at a time and make sure that, you know, Try not to have other people swooping in and stuff. I mean, it's okay sometimes if, like, a friend is there and he knows the price is better than you, so he's with you. I don't mind that. That's not the same thing. I don't want someone to come try and come in and swoop on a trade when I'm trying... Either I get a good deal or something that's just really popular. I, I don't appreciate when people just try to come in and steal it. So, that in that sense, I never do th that to anyone else. Um, the arguments, it could be some kind of fight... Anything can happen. I mean, I, I just don't appreciate anything like that happening, so I would never do it. Um, so that's my rule for one person at a time. And then I also mentioned that it prevents stealing because um, if you have one person at a time looking at a binder, you won't get something like swooped out of your binder or something like that. All right? And another thing, never take cards out of people's binder if you don't ask. I mean, I know that... Like, a lot of the time, people are just taking it out to look at the condition. But if you don't ask, you should never take something out of someone's binder. I always ask. I'm like, hey, can I look at this card? And they'll be like, yeah, sure. Because some people, you know, like their binders, like, they like it, like how it is. Um, they don't want you to damage their cards. Maybe it's expensive. Or they just think you're stealing. Because, honestly, if you don't say anything and you just take out a card, what am I to think? You know, and I just look at them and I see you holding a card. I'm like, well, you know. Um, so never take a card out of someone's binder unless you ask, because you, the other person might think you're stealing, and I have no defense for you if you don't ask, because honestly, what does that look like? If I'm looking at your binder, and then I stare up, and then you're holding one of my cards in your hand like this, and you didn't ask me if you're going to check the condition, what do I think? I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Like, and then... You know, some someone might just think you're stealing, just straight up sock you or something like um, that. Uh, I mean, not like I've seen it in person before, but you never know that. Honestly, and I don't really have a defense for you if you don't ask. Okay, there's no defense because you just took it out without t telling the other person. And something that I um, neglect doing nowadays, even though I sh try to do it usually. Shaking hands after a transaction. Again, because it's a social game, um, it's a friendly thing to do. You guys did business together, and I like to shake hands. Sometimes I do neglect it. I try not to, but at the same time, I like I, I try to at the same time. So it's like shaking hands is really a, a thing for me that I should want to get back to. And then lastly, tell the person, if you know that card is damaged, don't waste your time and not tell them. Because this is what happens sometimes, One, my, from my experience. I am looking at this really expensive card. Like, let's... Ju I keep using tour guides. It's really easy. So, when it was expensive, $150, um, I was trying to trade for a tour guide. And so, I would, like... He would be looking at my binder, doing this, doing that. And I'd take pieces out, and we'd put it on the table, and then we'd work out a deal. And he knows his tour guide is damaged. I know he knows, because he was, like... How fake he was, pretending that he didn't know... 
So we're looking, we're looking, we finished $250 worth of cards on each side or whatever, okay? Then I go, we go, all right, so let's check condition. So he tries to walk away. That's the first clue before we check conditions. So he doesn't even care. So obviously I'm like, whoa, whoa hold on, we got to check condition. And he's like, oh, yeah, okay. And then so I go and check. Tor guy's the biggest one, so I check first. And there is like a, like a little dent like right here on underneath the first edition, like right this isn't a tour guide, but right here, under the first edition, okay? Like, right here, like, this dent. And it's it's more of a fold or an increase, whatever, it's damaged. So I tell him, hey, bud, look, this is damaged. And then he's just like, oh, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 like, really fake, too. He's like, oh, I didn't even know that was there. I'm sorry. So what happened was the trade didn't work out. And guess what? We wasted 20 minutes, Okay. Just save your time, save everyone's time, save your time, save my time. If you're going to work out, especially for a big trade, 95% of the people to 100% of the people are going to check the condition of the card. If you know it's damaged, that's part of trade etiquette for me, and just let the other person know, okay? It saves you guys a lot of time, a lot of hassle, um, and you're not going to get out anything out of it anyway if, um, you know, you, you work half an hour for a trade and you figure out, oh, that's damaged. Done deal. It's, okay? Dead in the water. So, those are my tips for trade etiquette. Um, I really feel like, you know, I'll, I'll list them all again. I mean, be friendly. Respect the other person. Don't act, don't treat them like they're stupid. Um, if you guys have pricing differences, just go along with it. Or, you know, try to talk them down nicely. Be like, oh, I'm willing to pay a little less, but that's a little too, that price is a little too high for me. Okay? Something like that is goes a long way. Um, one person at a time, again, for your own safety and for, um, so that you don't get into fights or anything, arguments with other people when they're trying to trade jack you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I, I have to get back to this, sh shaking hands after a transaction, um, because you're doing business with the other person. And finally, just if anything's damaged or if it's not mint, just tell them beforehand because you're just going to end up wasting your time 95% of the time. Alright, so that's it for this video. Uh, big shout out again, this is my 200th video, 201st upload. All right, and um, again, my uh, eBay store is now open again, um, slowly but surely. And it's my eBay account is 3Z Inferno, so check it out. All right, thanks, guys. 3Z Inferno, signing out.